What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to change a material based on distance and we're going to be using a pixel depth node to do this. So we'll quickly just show you an example of this working. So if I start zooming out, you'll see this one change color. If I get really close to this one, we're actually having a differing effect. So it sort of fades out, which would be really good if you want it. So your character or your camera in a game doesn't have a really sort of horrible clipping effect when you get too close to an object. Instead, you'll do like a fade. And the last one, we're just changing a bunch of things between metallic roughness and color. So what this looks like is just this. And to get it in your material editor, you just right click and write pixel depth. If you can spell pixel depth. Uh, so basically, all this is doing is exactly what it says. It is determining the um, the depth of that pixel, how far away that pixel is from your camera. Then you can take that information and change what it does. Now, I'll show you actually uh, something I quite often use this for. If we actually look over here, I have these light shafts. Now, when I do stylized scenes, I tend to do a custom mesh for my light shafts and don't do sort of uh, volumetrics or anything. And if we actually get close to it, you can see as I get close, we fade. Right, so that way if I go to fly through here, you won't really see any clipping. If I go to the top, you might see it. So if I go over here, I'm across it. You can see like the clipping. But I tend to um, do this. That way if you do want to fly through the scene, you don't really notice that clipping because you're having that pixel depth fade when you get close to it. That's just one implementation that I use quite uh, re uh, regularly. But there's loads of different ways you can use this. So, I mean, even here, it kind of looks like an infrared looking thing. Ooh. Uh, so how do you set one of these up? So... First of all, right click your material or content uh, browser and click material. I'm going to go um, M underscore for material and I'm going to call it pixel depth tutorial. So in here, first thing you got to do, we're going to get our reference up at the same time. So this one, so we can copy it, is right click and write pixel depth. Now on its own, this doesn't do much. If we let, uh, if we push L and left click and plug that into alpha and then get two colors, and then we'll just grab two completely random colors. Pink and blue, very nice. You will see, you won't really get anything happening in our little preview. And I think it's but mostly because these the values here are just really, really like over the top. I mean, if we clamp it, so what a clamp does is drag off and write clamp and then press enter, uh, is it will make the values go between 0 and 1, which we're going to actually have to keep at the end because we don't want to go into the negatives or pass the value of 1. You can see it doesn't really do anything because the values are so high. So the first thing we need to do is set up a subtract. So if we go like this, subtract, plug that into here, and let's do something like a 1,000. Click apply. So to get subtract, um, this right click and right subtract. I don't think there is a shortcut that usually tells you that doesn't show me one. Uh, so let's check if that's working now. Yeah, so as you can see, we're getting that coming now. Now it's a very, very sharp transition, so we don't really want that. To fix that, we just need to set up a divide. Put the divide in here. And it will set the divide to like, let's say another value of, a, uh, let's do 100 actually, 100. You will see it's more of a smoother transition. So this is kind of working as a contrast between the transitions, like how sharp that contrast is getting to be. And this is what uh doing our distance. So if we do this to like a thousand, the higher the value, the further away it will go. So knowing that we can one left click, right click that and convert, or S left click to just get a scalar from the get-go. And we could call that like distance because when we go to edit it later, we know that's determining our distance. And this we can maybe call sharpness um, or smooth or smoothness because the higher the value, the smoother it is. And again, we want something like a thousand here for now and a hundred here. Cool. And that's basically done. So you can go about connecting other things up. If you want to change its metallic nurse, you can come into here and go uh, and plug this into your alpha and plug this into like, well, you actually don't need to plug these in. You could always just set the values manually. Depends if you want to change them later. So we'll just go zero and one and we'll plug that into our metallic and we'll also plug it into our roughness just to make an effect happen. Uh, so now when we get close, it's like a sharp plastic far away. It's like a dull metal. And we'll just do some, so right click your colors and convert to parameter. 
just so we can edit it later. Cool. Right click that and create material instance. And then we can go um, mi underscore pixel depth tutorial. I'm going to quickly duplicate one of these by holding alt and left click. And let's set them all back on our platform. And we're going to throw that onto here and onto here. I like how we kind of made it similar to that one. And as you can see, that's working. If we double click it, it's an instance now. So we can actually change some of these values. So if you think the distance needs to be further away, you can keep turning that up. So we get to an insane distance is a little too much. Or we can get it to come really close. So set it to like 500, like here. And we also can change our smoothness. And as we turn that up, it'll be a smoother transition. It'll take a longer time to transition, but it will look smoother. And you can usually balance between these two to get exactly what you want. Um, I would show you other ways to set this up, but I think that's basically all you guys need. Because now, if you take the information that I've just given you, you can uh, sort of make whatever you want using this. Whether you want to make it so you have this sort of fade effect, or you've got to do this, plug that into your transparency, and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll catch you next time.